Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Finding Your Purpose. I hope everybody is having a good day, a nice, productive day. If not, hey, there's still time. Let's get it going. Never let a day go to waste. Whew, y'all. Your girl is super stressed. Um, a lot is going on not gonna get into it but i will say just pray for you girl just pray for you girl i need all the prayer i could get right now and with that being said let's get into the topic of the show today y'all my topic is the craziness that surrounds us a lot of y'all might already know what i'm gonna get into but it's just ridiculous let's talk about the happenings that went on over the weekend you know the tragedy in buffalo I mean, come on. This is just... It's so ridiculous. And, you know, I know that... Shit like this is going to go on. We're living in our last days. And the Bible speaks of stuff like this going on. But it's just ridiculous and you know i know i've done many podcast shows about stuff like this and you know since i started doing you know my youtube show i've already talked about this you know this fairness and equality it's just this is ridiculous like we all have to survive in this world. We we all have to. No matter what race, creed, or, or beliefs, or whatever. We are all here in this world. So, why not get along? Why not love one another? Because... We can't help how we were born into this world. We can't help what race we were born into. It's n- it's not like we knew we were being created and like, oh, you know, I want to be African American. I want to be Caucasian. You know, I want to be this or that. We do not have a choice in that. So, therefore, I don't think we should be, you know, torn down or hurt in any manner because of our race. This is ridiculous. Like, you know, and going over my notes before starting the show, um... That gentleman, I don't even want to say the name. Um, he his reasoning was be, because he felt that other races were taking over and they were being phased out. Specifically, you know, the African American race. He believed that. The African American race was taking over and they were being phased out. And he also didn't like the, you know, the dating outside of your race, things like that. You know, I mean, and it's probably still up if, if any of you guys wanted to, like, go look at that to 
you know, in case you don't believe what I'm saying. But this is ridiculous. You, you can't, you know, help who you love. Like, I don't give a shit whether, if, you know, nieces, nephews, cousins, brother, sister. I don't give a shit who they love. I don't care the race, creed, or whatever. Just as long as they are treated with decency and respect both ways. That's all I care about. I mean, I don't understand the hate. It, you know, it makes no sense. It's really, really ridiculous. It really makes no sense whatsoever. So, you know, that just... It bothers me and all these innocent people who lost their lives on his ignorance. This fool was fed a steady diet of hate. And, you know, they try to say, well, you know, he was fueled off of a lot of stuff online. Yes. Some of that may have been from online, but I'm having a hard time believing that that's solely the only reason he started doing that. I believe he was fed a steady diet of hate. And, you know, that's not right. That's not right. Because him doing this chaos only creates more chaos. And, you know, it it needs to stop. It really needs to stop. And another thing that caught my eye was the fact that, okay, once they got him, well, once the police got there, they, they talked him down. You know, apparently he had the weapon pointed on himself. You know, they talked him down. You know, they were able to get him arrested. And detain, detain him and take him in. Now... I don't want to, you know, say it the other way because you know how they try to take your videos down when you speak the truth sometimes. But let's be real. Let's flip it around. Let's say it was the other race that caused this massacre. We all know. We all know. That person will not be breathing today. Come on now. Fairness and equality, y'all. Fairness and equality, y'all. Let's get real. You know, and as I said it before, all these innocent people that lost their lives, they were just going about their daily business, grocery shopping, you know, Doing things they had to do, you know, and they're gone. And for what? Ignorance. But, you know, sadly, we live in a world full of copycats. Because the day after that, Someone decides to go shooting in a church. And if if y'all remember, think back, that wasn't the first church shooting. 
But, I mean, come on. It, it's happening all over again. I mean, come on. Come on. Let's let's stop this nonsense. You know, we're not getting anywhere. Let's just stop this craziness. I mean... We really need God to put his loving arms around us right now because this is, it's hard and it's only going to get harder because these things are, it's just going to get worse. It's, it's going to get worse. And I know, you know, some of you that watch this and may be like, oh, you know, you don't believe you know, in that, and that, that's okay, we're all entitled to our own opinions, and our own beliefs, and things like that, and, you know, but, from what I believe in, and what I read, and how I came up, you know, growing up, in church and things like that, the Bible speaks of these very things happening. And plus, because things that I've been through in my own life, I believe, you know, that there's a God. But, you know, there's always going to be some that don't. And like I say, it's okay. We all have the right to our own, you know, beliefs. That's what makes us unique. You know, we're, we're all different. So, you know. But, you know, it's just... We have to do better. We have to realize that we're all in this world together. We're not going anywhere. We cannot control, you know, what race gets, what what race, you know. All we can control is what we do as, you know, ourselves. We cannot control the next person. You know, we, we, we can't. This stuff is ridiculous. For what? So you you end up doing, you know, crazy things like this. And nine times out of ten, they end up taking their own lives. What sense did that make? Or you... You get locked up for what? Like I, I, I don't understand. You're not sending any type a message. You're just causing chaos. In multiple people's lives, <laughs> as well as your own family. You know now you're not around your family. You're not a hero. Like. We got to get with it, people. And for goodness sake, if if you don't like someone, you know, because we're all entitled to our own opinion and our own feelings. But if you don't like someone and you see them, keep it moving. You, You don't have to speak to them. They don't even know you. Jeez. Whatever happened to the good old days where... You go your way, and I go mine. (sighs) No. Everybody nowadays that has a problem with something, they have to do something erratic. and, And get noticed in some type of way. It's, it's it's not good all the time, people. Let's just learn t- to 
agree and disagree and keep it moving. A bunch of people do not have to lose their lives because of something that you feel is not right. You don't rule the world. You cannot change anything. None of us can. We don't rule the world. So all we can do is just learn to accept what we don't want to. Those people that have a problem. Just learn to accept what you don't want to accept. And life would be so much better. You know, so heart goes out to the families that have lost loved ones. And, you know, the craziness in Buffalo. And also the craziness that happened at the church in California. I ask that God keep his loving arms around each and every one of the family members of both families. And Lord, please keep your loving arms around us as a nation because we need it. And one more thing before I get off, one more thing I wanted to discuss i'll probably touch more on both of these subjects well all three because i'm gonna speak on something else but i'll touch more on my podcast which is for those of you that don't know but you would like to listen the name of my podcast is designed for a purpose And you can catch it on Spotify or wherever else you listen to your podcast. But yeah, I'll touch more on these subjects over on the podcast. But one more subject that I wanted to kind of touch on um, is I know... Many of you probably seen the video that's going around about the little nine-year-old going to this girl's house to beat her with a whip. He knocks on the door and has the whip in hand. And her mom is like, boy, you better get away from my door with that whip, you know, And then they go, you know, to talk to the father. And the father's really no better. You know, he opens the door with a firearm. This is just ridiculous. Again. This this boy right here is being fed a steady diet of hate. I think the father is now, you know, in some kind of trouble with the law because when he put the gun down and he went back to pick it up and went off, he almost shot his own daughter. So I think he's in some trouble now for that. But the fact that you would allow your son... Well, it doesn't even have to be a son, but in this case it was. But the fact that you would even allow, you know, your kid to go to someone else's house with a whip in your hand. It's like, who are you? You're you're not that girl's father. You're not that girl's mother. But the father claims that his son was being picked on by the little girl's brother. 
<coughs> Excuse me. But if so, why can't you come and talk like an uh, adult and, you know, try to find a way for your child to get along? I believe they go to the same school. So, you know, they probably run into each other at school and maybe the bus stop or whatever. But this is where we have to be on our grown shit. Like, you, your son goes to the the same school that that little girl goes to. So, be a grown-ass man and go talk to the other child's parents see if you guys can get some understanding going on and you know see where the kids are coming from and fix the issue you don't open your door with a firearm i mean the little girl's parents did the right thing you know they went to try to hash it out like adults you know the father knocked on the door and his father Opens the door and has a firearm. Like, are you serious? In in seeing that, you're like, oh, okay. I want. I see why the little boy did what he did. You know, it's just. It's really ridiculous. I mean, I just don't. I don't understand. How people can just let this. I don't understand how people can just teach hate. I mean, it's it's not right. I, I love all people. However, I can't stand fuckery. That's just it. I can't stand fuckery. I don't care what race, creed, or whatever you are. I cannot stand fuckery. And I'm the type that, you know, I don't start stuff, but I'm not just going to sit back and allow fuckery to go on if, if I could be a person to stop it. You know, I don't see the sense and hating everybody. I really don't. We should practice self-love. As I stated in one of my other videos. Practice self-love. That way you can rain love on to others. I mean, I'm not saying you got to be buddy-buddy and best friends with other people. But... Just learn to all get along. We're all in this world together. United we stand, divided we fall. And with that being said, I love you all. And let's remember to keep finding our purpose. All right, y'all. Until next time, peace. Stay safe out there. Love ya.